Knock the phone! Knock the phone! Turn the phone, you all right? You all right? Uh, damn it. The experiment had failed. And that machine of mine blew up. Peter, you're gonna have to fix the couch later. Oh, oh my god. Knock the phone. What, what, what the hell is this? Wait, that energy, where's that energy coming from? What the hell is this thing? It looks like someone's going on the alarm post. What's going on? I don't know, but that's such pretty colors. I, I have to go towards them. No, no, Dr. Clone! Dr. Clone, no! Dr. Clone! No, Dr. Clone! God damn it! Not again! I just got out of that other goddamn dimension! Now this is happening again! Go! This part's always the worst. The most long and most painful part. Feeling my body twisting and breaking. Huh. This looks cooler than last time. Huh. At least I'm getting a better view. This still is very painful. Well, boys and girls. You're probably wondering where I am. Well, this is that dimension that I was stuck in a few months ago. As I'm trapped in the endless void of this place. This is where I was all that time. This year by myself. Hello. <sighs> There was literally nothing to do. Like, I counted the stars like at least 10,000 times. <sighs> the only good thing is, I get to practice a few things while I'm here. Target shooting. You know how many planets I blew up while I was trapped here? And it's okay. The planets have no life, no people. Just a quick and a quick. But that's precisely the point. When I was here, my one thought was to get back to you boys and girls so I can start doing more videos for you. But as you see, I'm here again. How am I going to get out? Well, here is Hope and Doles and Stu Corp. Remember what I told them if I ever found myself back here. <sighs> Hopefully they remember what to do. Until then, I'm just going to be here. And you're probably wondering, how am I not died yet with the lack of air and stuff? Well, it's simple. My mask. It's very special. With my mask, I don't require oxygen or food as long as I keep it on. One of my many great inventions. And if you can't tell, I can fly. It may not look like I'm just maybe like floating, but I'm really flying. I'm not going anywhere in particular though. This going straight. Higher and higher. Now, we'll leave it for that. Now, I bid you adieu, boys and girls. Hopefully, next time you see me, I'm not trapped in here again. Now, up, up, and away. Well, that is different. I'm on a planet now. I'm still in that dimension, boys and girls, but now I'm on a planet. <sighs> Look at this place. Boats, sand, and rocks. Not a person in sight. This gives me a great idea. I am conquering this planet. This is now the property of Stucor, this planet.
those who are loyal to me will get to live here on this planet with me as soon as I start construction. So I first need to see whether there's like wild animals or aliens or something. Yes. So I'm gonna have a good time checking. Because now this new planet is mine. It needs a name. Yes. A name. I will call this planet Orb. This is the planet Orb. Property of Stucorp. So I say. No one dare lie me. So yes, my dear brother, Earth, you can keep Earth. This planet is mine. I don't think you need to get me out right away. I like it here. Yeah, I can see it now. I'm gonna put a mall over there. Maybe um an A and W over there. Tim Hortons over there. Hmm. And a bar. Lots of fucking bars everywhere. Yes. Because on my planet, you can drink as much as you want for free. And you can smoke as much as you want. Weed, that is. I'm not going to say none of those stupid fancy things. I'm saying it the way how I said it back in the old day. It's weed. Not all these other bloody fancy names. Yes. However... Everything else will be illegal on my planet. There's no need for anything else. And yes, we'll need strip clubs. Lots and lots of strip clubs. Mm. I wonder. Oh, right. I should probably put a hospital or two or something. In case someone dies of alcohol poisoning. And I'm seen as a irresponsible person and ruler. I'll make sure to do that. Oh, look at that hillside all over there. Or is that a mountain? I can't tell. I'll put a hotel there. Yeah. That's a great idea. Hmm. Well, boys and girls, looks like I'm going to be busy. When I'm done, if I ever get around to it, you'll see my great city on this planet that I'm going to make. So, stay tuned for that, boys and girls. Now, we'll end it the same way we always end it here. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and follow at StuCorp on YouTube. Now, Never forget, you too could be a member of StuCorp. Because everyone wants to be a member, don't they? Now I go and explore my new planet. Sure. I was getting ready to do some training when I started to seek out my brother. I find out from his number two, Peter Gillis. He's missing. Some device blew up and he went deep somewhere in the multiverse. Well, dear brother, that leaves me with no choice. I'm coming to find you. Don't worry, Dr. Clay. Tony Montana. To travel the multiverse. I've had an encounter with the Council of Antiques. I know of its existence, and I have to be right to jump. Obviously, I came to an anime world first. That would be the first logical place to look for Dr. Crow. And that is the time the anime has already dead. So now, to the next universe, brother, I won't give up until I find him. Ah! <sighs>